Hi, I'm Ed Sobey from Kids Invent. Today we are building hovercraft. Now hovercraft are just a simple extension of some of the other activities your students have already done. They've done the propeller cars, so here is a propeller car with no wheels. Well, how does it work with no wheels? We have to reduce friction somehow, and so we use the same motor propeller that we use to propel it to also lift it or hover it above the ground. So the real trick here is how you get one propeller to blow both air backwards so the car, the hovercraft will move forwards, and also to lift it off the ground. So here it is in operation. So it works pretty well on a nice smooth surface. It won't work at all on a carpet, but on a real flat smooth surface a good hovercraft will just scoot right down the hallway, which is a lot of fun. So the trick here is to capture half of the air the propeller generates. Half will go out to push it forward, push backward to push forward. The other half is captured in this housing, and this housing has an opening in the styrene plate that forms the basis for the hovercraft. And so that air going down here increases the air pressure and just gently, very slightly, lifts the plate high enough off the surface that friction is reduced and the car can go forward. So one way to do that is to use the milk carton which is provided in the kit and the kids can figure out how to do that. Or the other way, you don't, don't really need to use the whole housing, you can also just have kids estimate about the size of the propeller, because that's the size of the opening, and create a little flap in the styrene plate with a pair of scissors. And poke that out, I hope. And bend it up. The one advantage to using the milk carton is that the sides are already in place. Using the flap that I'm doing right now, you have to add the sides. So there's the flap, add a side and a side to capture the air, mount the motor and propeller on top. It's not quite as easy as it sounds to get the balance right, the balance between the very heavy battery and the very heavy motor. You've got to get them about the same place forward and back. and you also have to get enough air underneath to push up, but not all the air, because you need some to propel it forward. So it will take most student teams a few tries to get it right, but their shrieks of delight when they get it going and get it moving down the floor will tell you that this is a grand activity. Have fun making hovercraft.